God created this scenario or this paradigm that he talks about in Deuteronomy 6, where he says we're supposed to teach our children from the time we wake up in the morning till the time we go to bed. We're supposed to teach them whether we're sitting at home inside of our house or whether we're walking outside of our house. He says, teach your children diligently. Most people, when they homeschool and they use that term, what they think of is we're doing academics at home. Right. Rather than learning academics at school, we're learning academics at home. That's not how I think about homeschooling at all. Mm -hmm. My paradigm is completely, totally different than that. So my definition of homeschooling is that homeschooling is parenting and relationship mm -hmm. and that we use academics as one of the tools in the parenting toolbox to prepare our child for life. So, you know, this is, I think, another mistake that homeschooling parents sometimes make is that they focus so much on academics mm -hmm. and their definition of homeschooling is that I have to give my child this huge information download because there are a billion data bits out there in the universe that my child has to have downloaded into their little brain before they graduate high school. And of course, you know, who determines what those billion data bits are? Some expert somewhere that we've never met. We don't know their name, but, you know, somebody set a standard somewhere, uh, government school, uh, you know, committee, somebody somewhere said, these are the things you have to learn at this age and this grade. And these are the things that you have to know to be successful in life. Um, the problem with that is that everybody's life is different, right? And um, so, so not all people actually need to know all the same information. Right. Not everybody has to have uh, a standardized education, which I'll, I'll cycle back to because uh, I think that's a whole other mistake that we make is the, the mistake of standardization. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, the, the goal of the parent should not be to try to force all these billions of bits of information into their child's brain. It should be teaching your child how to learn, mm -hmm. you know, uh, rather than... Um, because because the thing is, you will forget almost everything you learned in school, yeah. you know, you, even in homeschool. You just will. It's the nature of it. The only things that we retain or that we remember from our formal schooling years is pretty much the things that we use on an ongoing mm -hmm. basis. And everything else we completely forget. That's why it's so hard. And parents feel like, oh, I don't know that I can homeschool my child because I don't know any of this information right. that I'm trying to teach my child. It's like, well, you went through school. Why do you not know any of it? Right. Well, it's because most of it's completely irrelevant to everyday life. Yeah. And you don't use it. And right. so therefore, you don't remember it because you, for the most part, don't even need it. Yeah. And so, so rather than focusing on uh, cramming your child's head full of information bits, uh, rather you should look at, look at your goal as a parent is how do I parent this child and guide them and lead them to prepare them for life and to prepare them for God's call on their life and what God wants them to do? Yeah. How do I do that effectively and successfully as a parent? And you're going to need some academics for that. Sure. And you know the academics have a place for sure. But I think more importantly than focusing on the academics is to focus on relationship. Mm -hmm. And the relationship piece is one that a lot of people run away from. I hear it all the time. Uh, we just had a conversation a couple of days ago with a mom uh, who said we were homeschooling, but my daughter and I didn't get along. And so I put her in public school. Mm. And so, so the problem in, in my view with that scenario is we have a relationship conflict. And so we're going to solve the relationship conflict by simply avoiding each other. Right. You know, and avoidance ends up being really a thing that that kills the opportunity for influence and relationship. Yeah. And so rather than running away from relationship, it's kind of like saying, well, my husband and I or my wife and I are having a conflict. We're not getting along. So what we need to do is just avoid each other as much as possible. Well, well yeah, it makes the conflict go down, but it also almost completely removes the possibility of relationship. So God created this scenario or this paradigm that he talks about in Deuteronomy 6 where he says we're supposed to teach our children from the time we wake up in the morning till the time we go to bed. We're supposed to teach them whether we're sitting at home inside of our house or whether we're walking outside of our house. He says, teach your children diligently. Yeah. I mean, that's a comprehensive, like all day, right. every opportunity, every lesson, 
you teach your children. And yeah, you'll use academics, but academics are not an end goal. They're right. just a means to an end. And most of the time, what I find is that the academics actually just brings out a lot of uh, stress and conflict uh, and sometimes character flaws and sin in us where our children are lazy, uh, where they don't want to do their studies, where they become rebellious, where they have attitudes and they push back against their parents. And then we're trying to teach them. And then what do we do? We get attitudes and we push back and, <laughs> you know, and we have sin problems and character problems. And the academics actually kind of just brings to the surface a lot of relationship issues that we have to deal with. And we have a choice in that moment. Do we run away from that or do we press into it? Right. And my view, of course, is that God wants us to press into that. So, yeah. so prioritizing relationship over academics is essential because if the relationship doesn't work, the homeschooling won't work. Right. And if the relationship part is working, you can figure out the academic part. Yeah. Yeah. I think Christy Clover um, hit on this last night a little bit where we were talking about um, character over curriculum, you know, and, and, and that's basically what you're saying, you know, the character of our child matters so much more than the curriculum, but the curriculum sometimes helps to bring out what character traits we need to work on. And, and, you know, I appreciate that you talked about that. Not everything matters that they're going to learn because they're not going to remember a lot of it. And some of it just is irrelevant to their lives, but those things teach our kids how to learn and they mm -hmm. teach them how to expand their brain. So there is so much benefit to teaching the academics. So we're not saying like, don't teach your kids academics Correct. at all. Just play all day Correct. long, which Correct. play is just as important as academics as well. We'll talk about that. But yes, there's definitely some, I think, burdens that need to be lifted from moms who feel like they have to do it all. They have to check every single box. And by the time their kids graduate school, they have had to pour all of these details, like you said, all of this information into their child's brain and their kid has to remember it all. Homeschool Insights is sponsored by CTC Math. If you're looking for a great online math program, visit ctcmath.com and try it for free. For more great homeschool inspiration and resources, listen to the Schoolhouse Rocked podcast every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. 